Move in Black is where you prepare your fixtures for upcoming queues. It's a handy thing to know. It's enabled by default in the Simple Show file. All it's left to do for me is to know which queues I would like to perform the Move in Black. It's a sequence property, so if you want to disable it or change the default behavior of the Move in Black feature, for that you would use the Edit Setting keyword. I'm sure we can just use this sequence stored in the first executor of the basic show file to create an example. It's the selected sequence, so I can just use time five please to update that queue timing. Then when I restart the queue, you can immediately see a use for move in black. Let me rework this for you so you can see the alternative. Option one could include a delay to that dimmer attribute to happen after the move. That means that I would need to give my selection back to the programmer, add the I delay of five seconds, then update the queue. The problem now is the queue duration is 10 seconds. I realize this is exaggerated, but you get the idea. It's probably too long. I've used oops to go back and remove that delay. The simplest way I could create a version of this to give the move in black operation an opportunity to be used is to place a queue before Q1. I'm still gonna use edit to load my queue back into the program a second time. This is now the active selection, so I can set them to zero and then use the store command to add a 0.5 queue. This should only happen in the point queue so I can use the queue only mode. If I come across here in the sequence sheet, there's an option for me to use the move in black mode. There's a bunch of modes and I'm only gonna demonstrate defined for now. The console's helping out by creating a suggestion for using the 0.5 queue as the target, which is exactly what I wanted. There's another thing I wanna adjust before playing this back for you, just a bit of housekeeping. I'm changing the type for Q1 to time with a trigger value of one. This way, Q1 automatically follows after one second, giving the lights that beat from my go to get into position before they fade to full. Now after one second, I have a five second fade without seeing that live move. 